TMZ.com. Congress appears to have a rash of COVID spreading amongst its ranks, with Senator Cory Booker being the second elected official this weekend to announce as positive. Booker broke the news Sunday, writing, I learned today that I tested positive for COVID-19 after first feeling symptoms on Saturday. My symptoms are relatively mild. He threw in a plug for vaccines, adding, I'm beyond grateful to have received two doses of vaccine and, more recently, a booster, I'm certain that without them I would be doing much worse. I learned today that I tested positive for COVID-19 after first feeling symptoms on Saturday. My symptoms are relatively mild. I'm beyond grateful to have received two doses of vaccine and, more recently, a booster, I'm certain that without them I would be doing much worse. Senator Cory Booker, at Sen Booker, December 20, 2021 at Sen Booker. Booker's COVID news comes on the heels of Senator Elizabeth Warren declaring the same just hours earlier, saying she too had caught the Rona. So writes, I regularly test for COVID and while I tested negative earlier this week, today I tested positive with a breakthrough case. I regularly test for COVID and while I tested negative earlier this week, today I tested positive with a breakthrough case. Thankfully, I am only experiencing mild symptoms and am grateful for the protection provided against serious illness that comes from being vaccinated and boosted. Elizabeth Warren, at Sin Warren, December 19, 2021 at Sin Warren. She also expressed gratitude for being vaccinated, saying, Thankfully, I am only experiencing mild symptoms and am grateful for the protection provided against serious illness that comes from being vaccinated and boosted. Of course, this just proves that being vaxxed, and boosted, can still result in someone contracting the virus especially with the Omicron variant on the loose and spreading fast all throughout the nation. But, as the senators mentioned, they'd be doggone sick, if not worse, had they opted not to get vaccinated. After testifying for over three hours in a Senate hearing where he suggested masks may not be necessary on flights, Southwest CEO Gary Kelly tested positive for COVID. Sitting with him were CEOs of Delta, United, American, and Prey of Flight Attend. Here he is. Pick.twitter.com slash W422 if 4 Seb. Ron Filipkowski, at Ron Filipkowski, December 18, 2021, at Ron Filipkowski. Interestingly enough, these cases follow Southwest Airlines CEO also coming down with Rona late last week, this after testifying during a Senate hearing, which didn't include either of the above senators, BTW, where he was noticeably seen coughing and maskless. One thing may not have anything to do with the other, but what's evident now, DC is running rampant with coronavirus, and it ain't the only place rife with it either.